decided to become a priest in imitation of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, totally dedicated for caring the unprivileged youth. Everywhere in the rapidly industrializing city of Turin, he saw the urgency of his call. He grew concerned about the different forms of human misery that were affecting vulnerable young people the most. There were hungry and lonely orphans, uneducated and unemployed urchins, and migrant youths from rural areas in search of work. Young victims of abuse by unscrupulous adults. He began reaching out by the violence and the marketplaces of the city. He brought them to a safe and secure place at Waldoco, which he used to call Ortri of St. Francis de Sales. It was his very first educational enterprise, the first step in the realization of his dream. Friends, today we have a message in which he expresses his deepest sentiment towards young people and sums up his philosophy of education that is true happiness. My dear youngsters, I love you all from my heart and it is enough that you are young for me to love you very much. I am sure you will find many inspiring books written by persons much more virtuous and learned than I am. But with difficulty will you find someone who loves you in the Lord and who desires your true happiness more than I do. And I will teach you a way to be happy both in this and in the next life. Don Bosco's way is the way to happiness which is the goal of life and goal of education. Note the continuity of happiness in this and the next life. Express in word both. There is no difficulty between happiness here and now and happiness in the next life. From the beginning, Don Bosco offers the young way to happiness which is enduring, permanent, eternal. He offers them a conception of happiness which is imminent and transcendent. The way he proposes to offer young people 